before putting everything up together. I'm going to test that everything is working. So let's connect the battery and see what we've got. So everything powers up and let's see. We've got picture, so that's good. You can see the OSD is working. I actually had to switch between the video in and video out, so the, now it's working. So video in is connected to video in and video out is connected to video out. I thought it's the other way around because it makes more sense, but they already switched it. So the camera is working. This cloverleaf antenna is kind of on the way, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to replace the cloverleaf antenna with this antenna. So in order to do so, I will have to cut the end of the wire and then just solder it to this end over here. So it wasn't easy, but I finished building the Nano X. As you can see, I didn't use the propellers guards because it's a little bit hard to fit the side guards after you place the motors. And also, once you insert it, the ESC wire is going to be raised and then it's going to touch the motor, so you have to be careful. So what I recommend for you to do, if you plan to use the guards, install them before you place the motors. So I'm going to just fly it like that. And after that, maybe I'm going to try to carve some bigger holes inside and then I will be able to fit it like Andy RC did. But for now, I'm afraid I'm going to break something. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is before taking it for a test flight. I chose to put the camera on the bottom. The outcome is a little bit different than the ones I saw on the other videos and on FlexRC's website and actually maybe it's going to be for the best because the propellers are not going to be on the way when flying it. The total weight is about 35 grams so it's about 18 grams smaller than my current smallest quadcopter which is the Bobo 95 which actually doesn't look so small next to this 57 millimeter quadcopter. Now apparently I, I made a little mistake when I used this ESC and flight controller due to the fact that it only accepts uh, two cells LiPo batteries so I won't be able to fly it with 1S. So in the test flight I'm going to use a 2S 450 mAh LiPo battery and I did a hovering test and it was a little bit too heavy for this quadcopter but this is the smallest 2S battery that I have so probably a 300 or 250 milliampere hour 2S battery will be much better with this quadcopter. You can see how big it is next to the quadcopter and I'm going to mount it on the bottom using this dual-lock velcro. If I could have placed it on the top it would have been great but there is no much room left so it's going to be placed in this manner. This is not ideal and it makes the center of gravity very low which is not ideal at all so performing acro with this quadcopter is going to be very hard. Overall, the build process wasn't easy and you have to be skilled using your soldering iron. So be patient, don't rush things because things can go wrong pretty quickly. So I hope you enjoyed this build video and the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to take it for a test flight and maybe later I'm going to try the, to fit the propeller guards first, see how it will perform without it.